It's Maxine here from Northumberland Zoo. Uh, apologies for the massive delay in getting another video out to you. Obviously, since we were in the first lockdown, uh, which ended at the beginning of July, we have been so busy just generally with people. And obviously during lockdown now, getting the snow leopard enclosure tip top. Um, we welcomed an unbelievable like 30 odd thousand people uh, between July and November. So. Uh, a huge, huge thank you to everyone who came along and supported us and visited the zoo during, you know, post-lockdown weird 2020 times. Uh, anyways, so I'm here today because I want to show you guys our latest exhibit. Uh, the snow leopards are due uh, imminently. Um, so we're all very, very excited, slightly nervous. Uh, obviously, it's a huge first for this area. So it's going to be really, really exciting to get the girls here. So thank you for tuning in today. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a look at the enclosure as it is now uh, at the stages it's taken us to get to where we are today um, so kind of like the work in progress shots because throughout uh, the summer obviously when I didn't have a great deal of time to do videos I still did get shots of different parts of the process so that we can kind of look at the different stages of the development which is quite interesting I think uh, so we'll start out by looking at some development photos uh, and videos and then I've got a special treat for you we're going to head up to the Highland Wildlife Park we're going to see the girls where they are now see how they're getting on um, pre their movement to us so it's a very very exciting time um, for those of you who don't know already we're doing a special snow leopard reopening weekend uh, this Saturday and Sunday the tickets have already gone on sale um, so we get to come along um, we're gonna have some special snow leopard goodies um, including like little surprises and things like that and obviously a percentage of the profits and income goes straight towards the snow leopard trust which is the people that do the conservation projects directly in the wild with snow leopards so you'll know that your money is going to a good cause which is awesome um, and if you haven't already then please do like and subscribe uh, to our channel uh, um, obviously the more subscribers we get the more support the zoo gets so that's awesome um, right so without further ado let's have a little look at the progress shots
I'm up at the Highland Wildlife Park today, um, which is a huge uh, 260 acre uh, zoo up in the Cairngorm National Park, which is right up in the centre of Scotland, just south of Aviemore. And I'm here today because we are getting some very exciting new additions to our zoo next week. So I've come up to have a little look at them in their enclosure where they are now um, and to introduce you to our new snow leopards. So the Highland Wildlife Park is located right next to the Cairngorms in the Cairngorm National Park. Um, it's got two parts to it, so there's a drive-through bit, which is like 85 acres, um, where you can drive through Shrevalski horses, European bison, uh, and also red deer. And then they have a walk-around bit as well. Um, so it's absolutely stunning. If you're ever up in this area, then I definitely recommend coming to see it. Um, but obviously we're here today to see the snow leopards. So in the wild, where snow leopards are naturally found, their habitat is very similar to this. It's very like steep uh, cliff faces and rock faces and mountains. And obviously the colors are very much like this as well. So you can see where they get the coloration of the spots from. They're very, very good camouflage. Um, and they have really, really long tails, which helps them to balance as they jump around the rocks. So this is like perfect habitat for them. Um, obviously at Northumberland Zoo, we haven't got this kind of habitat available um, as this is just natural Scotland, but we were very, very fortunate to have almost 300 tons of rocks donated by Tarmac, uh, local to us. And we've created these kind of rock piles to, to try and recreate something that they would normally have in their habitat. So um, this is perfect for these guys. In order to be able to hold snow leopards at your collection, uh, you need to join the Stud Book. And the Stud Book is a program that manages all of the captive population of the animals uh, in zoos uh, in Europe. Um, so basically, this is a person who keeps hold of the details of all the different snow leopards, males and females, and their genetic history in zoos. And they're the kind of gods that then move animals between zoos to pair them up and make sure that they are in a genetically compatible uh, breeding uh, potential. Um, so the stud book keeper for the snow leopards is actually based in Sweden um, and we started talks with them in late 2019 uh, to ensure that we could actually take these on at our zoo. So we're very very lucky and very very excited to welcome these because these are going to definitely put us on the map. So these are actually the two girls that we're going to be getting. Um, they're just just over a year old um, and yeah we can't wait to we can't wait for you guys to meet them. One of the really interesting things that they do here at the Highland Wildlife Park, which isn't done in many other collections uh, that I know of, um, is they do this kind of paddock sharing and paddock management uh, program. Um, so one of the neighboring species that they have here is the Markor, and in the wild, that is naturally one of the snow leopard's prey species. And these guys are in the paddock just next door, and there's a little tunnel that connects the two, so the snow leopard enclosure and the Markor enclosure. So what they'll do is they'll lock the snow leopards in, and they'll let the Markor in for a bit, and they'll come around, they'll eat all the grass, and they're perfectly designed for this habitat to climb on all of the rock faces and keep them all nice and tidy. And then once they put the Markor back in, they'll let the snow leopards back out again, and the snow leopards love it because it's stinky and it stinks just like their favorite uh, prey item so it's a really really nice combined kind of grass management you know we don't have to get the weed whackers out and tidy up the paddock they do it for us and the snowies enjoy it as well so uh, I think it's a really good idea so the Highland Wildlife Park originally got snow leopards about 10 years ago um, and it was only last October that they bred for the very first time. Um, so this is the holding area where they're kept. Um, they've just been fed so they're out the back having a bit of a chew. Um, so they're going to be joining us then you guys will be able to come along and see them. We're hoping to have a special snow leopard themed weekend where we'll have snow leopard face painting and special merchandise to do with the snow leopard trust because we're going to be raising money for the charity that works with the conservation in the wild of these guys so uh, it's really nice to be able to contribute to that and actually be part of something be part of a bigger picture um, and we hope that you guys will enjoy seeing that um, but for now we'll show you some shots of the snowies and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you soon cheers guys